I wanted to dress the same as the roast because the roast is really cute and I'm really cute. And so together, we're roasting cuteness. We're cute. You're cute. Let's roast some beef. I'm Maddie Madison. Welcome to God Save the Food. We're gonna settle this once and for all. Northern, Southern, Sunday roast. Roasted potatoes, mashes, Yorkshire puddings, no Yorkshire pudding, bone marrow au jus or gravy. What is up? Let's check out these messages from our friends from the United Kingdom. What are their names? Uh... No one knows, F it. Let's check these guys out. Matty, I've heard you're gonna try and take on one of the most classic English dishes of all time, a roast dinner. This guy's got a boat or he just looks like a pirate. He's cosplaying pirates. If you don't get this one right, your DMs are going to be flooded with upset Brits. Hi, Matty. I'm Nana B. Matty. I love it. everyone calls me Matty. We all know that a good roast dinner has to have a proper good Yorkshire pudding. I've got my Yorkshire pudding tin in the oven. I'm gonna get it out now and put some lard in. And into the oven it goes, because you want that fat smoking up. Have your roast potatoes on one side and then a, a beautiful amount of stock gravy all over it. I mean, like, like honestly, so it's floating. They want their, their roast to be floating in gravy. I never weigh anything out. I do it by the equal measures. Do your flour first. You do the same with the milk and same with your eggs. So then we're gonna beat this. That's the batter done. By this time, your fat should be screaming up and we're going in with the batter. The main vegetable that I think you have to have a roast, a carrot. I like a hard carrot. Al dente. Al dente. Al dente. Yeah, al dente, whatever, yeah. al dente. So that's a perfect Yorkshire. Oof, look at those. I think one of the most important parts of a roast is roast potatoes. I like them roasted. Well, yes, it's a roast potato, mate. How else could you do it? <laughs> I mean, not boiled. Well, no, because that's a boiled potato. <laughs> Are you all right? So, Matty, I've seen your Yorkshire puddings. They looked a little bit cakey. Follow my tips, Matty. You won't go wrong. Everything she's saying, I'm, I'm, I'm drinking up. She said she saw my Yorkshire puddings. I don't know which video. I'm sorry. I'm not going to let you down today. Today's the day that I don't let you down. All of the United Kingdom has feelings about this. Please let me know good and bad. Let's rip this country apart. No, I probably shouldn't say that. We're making my all-time favorite meal. This is my ah, favorite. This is a top sirloin. Fat cap on, perfect for roast. Get your butcher to truss it. Truss it is like how it's all wrapped up, all pretty pretty. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do, put a little oil on it. Give it a little rub all the way around. Salt. And now we just do the pepper. You take a little bit of rosemary and put it in there if you want. What we're gonna do is put this into the oven, get it nice and golden brown, turn the temperature down nice and low, cook this a nice medium, pink all the way through into the oven. Rose dinner is the... No, I didn't. Okay. Roast dinner is at the apex of British cuisine. It is. The centrifuge, it's, it's the meniscus, it's, it's the molecule, it is the particle. The roast brings it together. So I think what we need to do is make roasted potatoes. I'm gonna peel our potatoes, then we're gonna cut them, then we're gonna parboil them, then we're gonna roast them in the oven and get them nice and golden brown, okay? Let's just cut these potatoes in half, and that's it. So fill it up with water, a couple tablespoons of salt. We'll just bring this up to temperature. Swede. Obviously it's called Swede probably because it's sweet, I'm thinking. Just use your knife and kind of cut around it. I could be wrong. Once again, I'm not a historian. Add some salt, turn on high heat, bring it up to a boil, turn it down, simmer it out. I feel nostalgic eating roast. It makes me think it's the seat. It's the seat. <laughs> You see these onions? I'm just gonna put these in the oven. Then I'll take those, some of that beef dripping, we'll just plunk that into our gravy. Have I ruined any family Sunday roast dinners? One Sunday we were having a family roast and I almost died. Took a big piece of the prime ribs, kind of chewing it and chewing it, and then I just was like chewing it, I'm just gonna swallow it. And it like lodged in my throat and I was like fell back in my seat, and as I fell back in my seat, <laughs> it landed in my dad's fish tank, and then our cat jumped in, grabbed it, ran away, and then a praying mantis came into the house, but 
And then the praying mantis dragged out Bagheera, that was our kitty cat, dragged out Bagheera to the backyard and we couldn't do anything because you can't, praying mantises will cut your heads off. It's the circle of life. Moment of silence for Bagheera. Shall we cook some carrots? Carrots, I'm trimming the tops off. Nobody likes a carrot top. Everyone's like, oh, take the carrot tops, make a pesto out of it. Shut up. Take some carrots, put on a baking tray. Throw some butter on there. Some salt and pepper, that's all you need every time. In the oven. What do I do when I wash my potatoes? Well, and I think about when I get to make all this beautiful food, I get to share it with people that I love. And if everyone is nice to me for the rest of the show, maybe everyone will have some Sunday roast. But if you're not nice to me, then I'll eat it all. I, I, I truly believe that this meal could end a lot of squabbles. Mm-hmm. Nobody wants a squabble. Is it uh, looking El Dante yet? It's not looking El Dante yet. Oh, Cockney yeah. pirate. Just waiting for these potatoes to <laughs> cook. When you're not watching your potatoes boil, you come over and you watch your Swede boil. It's very enlightening. That's beautiful. My last supper would just be a bowl, like one giant raw Swede, just a devil on. Just train your Swede, bring it over here. What are you on death row for? for all the people that are gonna comment in the comment section. And then if they comment negatively, I'm gonna to fly to the UK and kick everyone's ass. We got our steamy boiled seaweed. Four tablespoons of unsalted butter. Work it. Oh yeah. Look at that. Meet me on London Bridge. We're gonna close it off. Me versus every single person that feels offended by anything that I've ever done. So I'll see you on the bridge. We're a fight to the death. And then I win because I kill everybody. And then I go to jail forever when I get executed in the Tower of London for killing everybody. I'll get to nibble on my giant Swede. Mm. That's a good way to go out. Mmm. 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 Who wants the ruckus? Put this on top of your oven. It'll stay warm. Uh, is England older than Egypt? England's been around longer than the Earth. Think about that. Okay, these are good. So this is what we're looking for here. We got our little potatoes here drying out now. Let's let these cool down to room temperature. Then we're gonna put them into the freezer and the freezer's gonna dry out the outside just enough to make them extra crispy when we roast these. Yorkshire or Yorkshire? Yorkshire, Yorkshire. Yorkshire pudding is my favorite thing. Nana B, I'm following your recipe. All-purpose flour, this amount, four whole eggs. For some reason, there's so much mystique about a Yorkshire pudding being difficult. I got my milk and my flour incorporated. Now I'm just whisking up my eggs. I'm gonna pour that in. It's literally equal parts, flour, milk, eggs. And I'm gonna add a pinch of salt, whip it up until we have our Yorkshire pudding batter. It's not difficult. Now pour it into a pitcher. Nana B knows. We're gonna put this in the fridge until we need it. Take a drink. No. I'm on Team Yorkshire, we all know that. We're at 50, so now I'm pulling it out. It's gonna stay right here. We're just gonna let it sit there and rest. We got our hot tray with all of our beef drippings in here. We're gonna just take a little more oil and now we're just gonna take our potatoes and kind of line these up. Little oil on top of each one and then just a little bit of salt. And let's put these into the oven. Carrots are done. So we're pulling our carrots out. Not too roasted, but perfectly roasted. A little al dente, as they say. You can take your mint sauce, your bread sauce, your cranberry sauce, beat it. There's only two sauces that I want, gravy and gravy. Make it gravy! All of a sudden, mint with lamb is just a thing that has to happen? No, f off. Two tablespoons butter. Melt that down, get that nice and frothy. Cranberry on turkey? F off. We're gonna add our rosemary leaves and thyme leaves. Bread sauce? F right the f off. Then add two big tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Cook that till a dark caramelized roux. Now I'm gonna add about a cup and a half of beef stock. Ooh. Soy sauce. Couple spriggy splashies. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. Fresh cracked pepper. Now, do we have a little gravy boat? You don't f gravy boats? I don't f with Cockney pirates. 
Oh my goodness. Gravy, 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 gravy. Yodely dodely, how's everybody doing? Roast done, carrots done, gravy done, swede done, potatoes? Okay, this in bulk rumor mill needs to stop. Roasted, crispy potatoes. You know what Southerners were saying about Northerners? These are just gonna be so good. They said Southerners said that Northerners liked eating mash because they had less teeth and they couldn't have roasted potatoes because the roasted potatoes were crispy and they would hurt their teeth, but the Northerners didn't even have teeth. <laughs> That's not funny. So we got our beef drippings and now we're just gonna plop this in to our tray, pour it in a hot pan with some beef fat or lard or just neutral vegetable oil. Take your uh, Yorkshire pudding tray into the oven. Ay, 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 ay. Let that get nice and hot. Now we have these amazing roasted onions, beautiful onion petals. Look at that. Everything's ready. No, that's not true. Not everything is ready. So we got our batter, pour. Whoa, whoa, oh. Okay, back in the oven, quick! Uh, oh. This is the most stressful time of the entire thing. Nana B, what, you, you were saying, what, what, what video did you see where I made uh, cakey uh, Yorkshire puddings? I'll live with myself. If I let down the cockney pirate and the professionally posh guy, I cannot let down Nana B. When she said, Maddie, I don't know, they're a little cakey. <gasps> uh, uh. And now we wait patiently. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Ka, 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 ka. It was like a saber through my heart, out of my spine, ripped my whole body in half. Nana B, you ripped my body in half. My soul leaked out of my body, down the drain, into the gutter, out of the gutter, into the ocean. Dolphin ate me. It's been quite an experience. Yorkshire puddings, where are they? <laughs> Nana B! Let's see how I did. She said my ones were pretty cakey. Guess what? Light as a feather, crispy. Getting that. And this one is our crown jewel. Crispy, light, airy with the hole. Yeah, Yorkshire puddings. Yeah, I know how to make them. Now we slice and carve our beef. Perfect roast beef. Pink all the way through. Look at this roast dinner. Carrots, the beef, the potatoes, the onion, the sweet, the gravy, the puddings. Nana B, this is for you. Shall we make a plate? You walk into any pub on a Sunday and get a roast that looks this beautiful. Here we go. Mmm, mmm, the carrot, the al dente. You want the al dente, you pirate, you got it. A Little bit of sweet on that beef. Mm. The Yorkie. It's not cakey. Nana B, guess what, my Yorkie's fire. Everything I made was fire. I swear to you, one day me and you will cook together. We will enjoy Yorkshire puddings, feeding each other into the sunset. I love you. I love you. I'm Maddie Matheson. World peace. Roast. It's what's for dinner. God save the food.